Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to be looking at the College Compass program that uh, we offer here in Vermont. College Compass was developed in partnership with uh, College Steps and Higher Ability Vermont, who recognized the programming we already had on campus and the peer mentor model that we use. I wanted to make that available to um, individuals that they work with who are trying to earn college degrees or advanced certification. So our whole organization's goal is to support students as they increase their autonomy in college, after college, in the work setting. Um, so we're using our peer mentor network on campus um, to support students both in person and virtually as they prefer um, with really primarily that academic support and self-advocacy pieces. Um, we have students that are joining us uh, as dual enrollment students in high school. Maybe they're just taking an intro to college and careers course and want to see what college would be like with the support we offer. Or maybe they're, you know, dual enrollment taking multiple courses. Maybe they're already out of high school. They're um, nervous about entering college for the first time, want that additional support. Or maybe they're already attending the college and recognizing the need for additional supports. The supports that they get, um, again, are provided by your peer mentor. So other college students who have been there a year or two already, if not a few, and have demonstrated success and the ability to kind of navigate all these college systems. And they're help, there to help the students do the same way, um, do it in, in a way that feels you know, natural to a student from a peer. Um, it's not that adult support that many of them had in high school and um, were kind of, over and wanting to shed as they went to college. So these students can get between four and 10 hours of support per week um, outside of the classroom, either on campus or virtually as, as they um, prefer. We're gonna do check-ins and check-outs with students at the beginning and the end of the day, either with a mentor or a coordinator to make sure they know what they have to do that day and understand their schedule and what assignments need to get um, tackled as well as, okay, it's the end of the day. What do you have to do um, tonight or over the next couple of days before your next session so that we know we're making good progress? Um, they're going to have individual and group based homework support. Again, often Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or multiple days throughout the week. So they're pacing themselves and we're getting ahead and noticing if somebody's procrastinating and we're not wanting to start a big assignment that's coming up. Um, for many of our students, the anxiety around a big assignment just makes them want to avoid it. This way, mentors can meet with students, talk about it. Hey, let's tackle this little chunk today, or let's outline this today, and we'll start working on the first part next time. Um, that's really helpful to students that have a tendency to avoid or procrastinate, um, or just get overwhelmed by a large assignment. Uh, these students, again, mostly focus on the academic component and the self-advocacy piece, but many of them choose to opt into some of the other areas, such as independent living, um, social um, goals, or um, pre-vocational goals. So they can access our community skills class if they choose, which can support a lot of those independent living goals and even social, kind of navigating the social world. Um, they can work... Um, independently with mentors, uh, like I said, with those academic times. And during those academic times are when mentors can recognize, hey, we need to email your professor. You seem like you need some clarification on this that I don't have for you. Or, hey, let's, do you know what your schedule is for next semester? We should be meeting with your academic advisor to get that in order. Or, hey, I know you have accommodations that you're eligible for. You get time and a half on your exams. You have an exam coming up next week. Should we look into setting up a, a you know, that accommodation? Um, a lot of our students have access to these things, but don't take advantage of them. And that is one of the things that can get in the way of having success in college. And so our mentors are there to kind of cue and prompt those resources and students to access them as well as getting them comfortable in doing that themselves so they can continue on without our supports and access all these things that are available to them already. We offer a rolling admission. So if somebody's interested, they should reach out. We do, um, you know, encourage our priority applications to come in by March 1st. 
um, for that fall semester. Um, all referrals for the program ideally are coming through higher ability. As we said, this is a program intended for students that have open cases with higher ability. So if you have an interest in the program, um, you should talk to your counselor or get connected with higher ability if you don't already have one. Um, we're currently operating here in Vermont, the College Compass Program at Castleton University, um, the Community College of Vermont at the Montpelier, St. Albans, and Winooski campuses, and also at both Northern Vermont University campuses. Those would be Johnson and Linden. Um, our application is right on our website. You can see um, some of the important things to note here. Um, but if you get started there, we'll, once we get your application, we'll reach out to you and your team and we'll help you take all those next steps. But just remember when you're filling out that application, you wanna select the Vermont campus partner location. So which campus you intend to uh, join at, as well as um, selecting the college compass for the program model. And then please do um, note if you're working with a state or community agency. And if so, uh, such as higher ability, please indicate your case manager there as well. Wanted to give you a brief story of one student that came through our program. Callie um, joined us at Castleton University a number of years ago. She was really into um, horses and horsemanship. Um, and also really wanted to go to a school that addressed that, but knew she had to tackle some of those core academic heavy classes, writing, reading, math classes, before she could take on kind of that major concentration. So she came to us, she and a mentor who was also into horses actually joined the horsemanship club together. They'd go ride together, attend those things. She did opt in for that social support. And then the, most, the rest of her supports were around those classes that she found difficult. Um, and she you know, completed um, her program successfully with that support. She was good about coming to homework sessions and getting a lot of it done there and deciding what things can I do independently and I'll do those on my own time. Um, she ended up graduating um, or completing all those um, academic components that she needed to transfer to a college that focused on horsemanship and continued on there. She was a really um, big success story for us. So I appreciate you taking the time today to listen to this. Um, you can see some contact information on this slide. You can reach out to me, Chris Kennedy, um, or Briah Emery, our Director of Admissions. So we look forward to hearing from you soon.